Welcome on, the how to. Before watching this video, don't forget to subscribe for more free how to videos. So now let's go. How to make self-raising flour. The process of how to make self-raising flour seems simple enough but it is not. What needs to be remembered here is that flour that is not mixed properly will not raise as much as it should. It can actually make the bread too flat or brittle. There are certain ingredients that need to be considered before buying the flour. To make this process easier and quick, it is better if you can buy the flour pre-made. It will save you a lot of time and money. You can choose from the variety available to suit your needs. All you have to do is mix the flour with baking soda and water and heat up until it starts bubbling. Once it is done, remove it from the heat and put it into a container. To help you understand all this, it is better if you know some information first. This is necessary so that you will know what to use for what purpose. If you are making the flour for biscuits then it is best if you use whole wheat flour. If you are making bread, then it is better to use white flour. This is because white flour is more suitable for baking and bread making. How to make self-raised flour by using a wire mesh strainer is quite easy but the question arises how do you separate the flour particles? This is one of the most common problems that people have with this process. This is because even though you may try to mix the ingredients together, it still does not get separated properly and this is where you will need extra help. A wire mesh strainer will come in very handy here. You just need to place the cloth strainer on top of the dough while mixing together with the flour and baking soda. When the mixture starts to bubble, this means that the flour is separated and has been separated from the dough. Now it is the time to divide the mixture into several parts and place them into the strainer so that it gets separated and it will not end up sticking to each other. Extra assistance here is to place the container with the dough inside of a plastic bag. This way, you will avoid any spills which could cause the dough to stick together and become hard to separate. If it does get stuck, just add some more flour to keep it from sticking together. As mentioned, there are several options available for learning how to make self-raising flour. One of them is to go online and read about it. There are a number of sites that provide tips and guides to help you learn all about the process. They also help you with recipes, which can be easily prepared at home and which are easy to prepare. You can also buy books and other such materials which contain various tools and techniques. The important thing to remember here is that you will need extra assistance if the mixture is very wet or very dry. You also need to have patience when mixing as mixing is not easy to do with dough that is too dry or too wet. There are a number of advantages to learning how to make self-raising flour. First and foremost, you will be able to control the amount of flour you use. You can then be sure that you only add enough flour to make the right consistency and texture of your cookies. In fact, this can make the task much easier and you won't have to use too much of flour as it will be more difficult to mix it. On the other hand, if you are a beginner at the art of cooking and you don't have a lot of time to prepare the ingredients, you will be able to save quite a bit of money if you know how to make self-raising flour. This way you will be able to cook healthier meals and be able to have a tasty treats even without spending a fortune. There are other things you can learn from the different sources available on how to make self-raising flour. You can also be able to save quite a bit of money if you are an experienced cook. It will help you save quite a bit of money if you buy ready-made ingredients and mix the ingredients together. This way, you will be able to create your own recipe which is easier to make and makes the whole process of making your own cookie dough a lot easier. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video for more how to.